Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I am sharing the first match of a recent tournament at Hieroglyphic Games in Chevy, Ohio. This has been our first casual competitive event for Constructed in Wave 3, and I am using the opportunity to practice some uh, cars. I'm using a modified version of the Wave 2 Vector Sigma Hot Wheels deck, and there were nine attendees playing. The video is going double time to try and speed things up. I flip Bumblebee, use his ability to drop a card, draw two, and swing ten into RC, getting RC off the board, which I think is very good for a, a first turn against a Lionizer aggro deck. Uh, my opponent was new to the store, which I was excited to meet uh, him for the first time, and uh, he brought a pretty good deck with him, so we'll see how the rest of the match goes. And with cars, uh, my big goal is obviously trying to get unflip effects to get extra attacks in, force focus on Bumblebee if possible. Uh, my opponent flips Optimus Prime, that makes sense. And then swing uh, a grenade launcher equipped Lionizer into Bumblebee. So he swings with 9, I block 2, I take 7 on B. And now I'm thinking through my options. I don't have any obvious weapon choices to put on someone else, and I don't think I have any untap effects at the moment in my hand. Uh, so I end up going with the Gyro Blaster on Bumblebee to help him absorb a little more damage, which may have been a mistake on my part. Probably make more sense to put a Gyro Blaster on Prowl. It gives him plus one, which I don't want to kill Lionizer by accident, but would also help Prowl survive a hit. So then I put one shall stand, one shall fall on Optimus and Prowl, and that's maybe another mistake on my part. It's just getting Prowl very killable. Should have put it on Bumblebee. This was, um, I think, some serious misplays on my part, which is, you know, par for the course as I'm learning Cars. Cars, I think, is a, a decently skill-intensive deck that I, I'm trying to get better at. I put 4 damage on Lionizer, which doesn't kill him, so I don't have a Lionizer equipped Optimus swinging at me, um, but I also don't want Lionizer alive either, because a bolt 4 swing will kill someone uh, at this range. Uh, my opponent plays Confidence, drops their two cards, and plays Press the Advantage to give the plus 2 pump to Optimus. And uh, here I'm explaining what Gyro Blaster does, so they know not to attack Bumblebee. My opponent was a little new. Um, Gyro Blaster would prevent all the uh, bold from Power Punch, so he swings into Prowl instead. And uh, I forgot about Optimus's effect for a second, so my opponent gets to choose the ability. My opponent's deciding which accent he wants to use. So, ramming speed is Scrap Gyro Blaster, and uh, definitely kills Prowl. But now I get a Wheeljack Swing into Optimus. I've got the weapon in my uh, Scrap Pile. I didn't really have a weapon for Wheeljack. I decided to go ahead and put an Energon Axe on Optimus, or on, on Bumblebee in case uh, Optimus survives put three on Wheeljack and three on Optimus, maybe here again I should have put the three on Bumblebee. I shouldn't be as afraid to let him die if he's not drawing me flip effects. And Optimus is at 12, so you know, not a terrible spot. Uh, now that I've got some damage on Wheeljack, if he survives I can give him an Energon Axe too. So odds are, if Lionizer doesn't kill someone this turn, I think I can win this game. But we'll see if I can. And yeah, I think this 200 times speed helps the match. I mean, these were fast aggro on aggro matches, but uh, even still watching back at double speed. He picks up a supercharge.
I think he almost swung with Optimus there until I, I reminded him about Lionizer. And yeah, the grenade launcher on Lionizer is, uh, that'll, uh, odds are kill. So I think my opponent was a little confused by white pips, but I uh, explained that. So. So the question is, do I have anything? I can play the Energon X, and that'll kill Lionizer, but then I'll have a Lionizer-equipped Optimus swinging at me. And there's no real good way to dodge that. I think by him killing Bumblebee, uh, this is my opponent's game to lose at this point. So I flip Wheeljack here to keep his defense a little higher. Uh, I managed not to kill Lionizer, which I'm kind of okay with, because next turn I'll get to kill Optimus. Um, Optimus has to deal 12 to kill me. Here I think I, I looked at my phone and I saw where the footage is. You can see there, you know, that's how I'm keeping track of what the camera is showing me. Um, so we moved our stuff a little closer. Yeah, my opponent was going to play Supercharge, but Supercharge obviously doesn't do anything on Optimus because he already flipped his, his flips. So my opponent deals 9 damage, or 11 damage, I block 2 of it, that puts me at 12 damage, I got 1 health left. I can kill Optimus, but then there's almost no way Wheeljack survives a Lionizer swing. And here I'm explaining the untap mechanics. But yeah, great first game to my opponent. Um, Confidence to try and fish for something. One shell can't help me here because Wheeljack will die, obviously. Bashing shield on Wheeljack to draw a card. Uh, and swing an Optimus. So now I've got, you know, a little more health, but it still won't be enough. So I kill Optimus, but then Lionizer will almost assuredly secure the kill here. And yeah, so um, I didn't get the tap effects I wanted, clearly, but the untap effects, I mean. But I also, um, I think I misplayed by, rather than letting Bumblebee soak up more damage, especially for my own one shall stand, one shall falls, like it still would have taken a hit to kill Bumblebee and then Prowl and Wheeljack would have been at less range later in the game. So this was a good learning experience. Like this is why I like watching my own game footage. I think I learn, hopefully I learn something from my defeats. And here we sideboard. My opponent didn't have a sideboard with him. Um, my sideboard is Super Rare Bumblebee. I'm not switching my character, but I switch here. And this actually is probably another learning opportunity for me. So class, uh, what do you think I do in my sideboard? Uh, the answer is I sideboard a lot of stuff to help my me unequip or scrap my opponent's equipment. Now, in theory, that might sound good because like, oh yeah, kill Lionizer, then unequip him. Um, but what did we learn from game one? That I can get around Lionizer pretty well. So I think the adding the cards that were all like unequip or scrap to, because I was paranoid about Lionizer, my opponent didn't even get Lionizer on his, his Optimus. Um, so I think I was not thinking carefully about the sideboard at the time of play. But uh, let me know in the comics, like, is that something you agree with, or do you think I was fine doing the unequip effects, or maybe I should have done something different? So I go first again. And uh, I think I didn't, maybe I didn't have an action in my hand 
to use for Bumblebee's effect, or I totally forgot about that. Either way, big whiff on my part. Don't do the damage to kill RC. So already in, in a worse position than game one. Erratic Lightning on Lionizer is doubly good, because again, he doesn't really care about Lionizer's defense. He wants to use Lionizer. Seven damage to Bumblebee. He blocks two, takes five. And again, hopefully I have an untap effect to take advantage of Bumblebee. I play an Energon Axe on him, but I don't have anything to untap him. I flip Prowl, and the reason I'm flipping Prowl is obviously to try and flip him back on a later turn. Um, deal four damage to Lionizer. And uh, Enforcer Baton scraps my Energon Axe. And uh, my opponent didn't realize the improvised shield was a, not an action. Uh, swings in a bumblebee. The blue flips on my part don't matter. Uh, bumblebee is at nine damage. So at least Prowl's clear. I think I want to run more turbo boosters in my main deck. I have some in my sideboard, uh, but I think I've only got one copy of my main deck right now, and I think that's what I learned from this is I, I want to put more turbo boosters in there. There's a turbo boosters to get a an untap on B. Um, unfortunately, with his untap, uh, what I, what I, me switching Prowl to get his bold, I think may have been a mistake also. If I flipped B previous turn, I could have put the turbo boosters, untapped him, put him back in a bot mode, and scrapped an action to try and get a better hand. So that's, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning. I do kill RC. And uh, I forgot about Wheeljack's effect. That's that's definitely a, a theme of this first match, is me missing trigger effects. I think I totally forgot about B's bot mode ability on game two. The force field on Optimus is going to be tough to play around. Uh, my opponent goes ahead and activates the confidence from his Optimus flips. And yeah, this was a fun learning experience for me, I think. I've played Cars maybe once before. I've done it, I know, in some practice, but I'm still not a very good Cars pilot. I'm trying to improve. I think um, getting a little more diversity in my my uh, gameplay will be good. So there's um, Start Your Engines. So I flip Prowl and Wheeljack. And now I get a wheel swing with all their bold. So Wheeljack has bold 5, Prowl has bold 2. So this is me doing some math. Uh, my goal is with bold 2 on Prowl, I can trip the force field, I'm hoping. It's 6, uh, which is not enough to get around Optimus defense. So that that's tough. I got so close. Had I tripped the force field, I think this game would have gone very differently. So, 7 plus the grenade launcher plus Wheeljack's attack, um, it trips the force field, but it also, I think, what would that have been? 12 plus, what's Wheeljack normally? 5? So, 17 attack. I Had I... I think that was still the right move. Um, unfortunate that I couldn't get there. So I do feel better about my car's play after watching this. Like, I mean, I don't feel good about this match. Like, I, I think I lost this match due to my poor play, but I think I learned some things to be mindful of next time I run cars.
And yeah, I think I sideboarded in all my turbo boosters to try and get more untap effects. That ramming speed would have been nice last turn, but it, it happens sometimes. Uh, Lionizer's at 7. So again, still not terrible. If Optimus somehow doesn't kill Wheeljack, I think I still got a shot. Or doesn't kill Prowl. And Prowl is at full health. But a weapon on Optimus, I mean, puts Prowl very killable. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. And I think here I also miscalculated. Um, there I just got rid of my scrap pile, which means on Wheeljack's swing, I will not have his bold three. So the smarter thing might have been for me to use Wheeljack's swing, but then all it, that would have done was give an Optimus... No, yeah, maybe that would have been the smarter move. Give an Optimus Lionizer and then try to kill him with Prowl. Right, because if I swung with Wheeljack first, he gets the bolt. Kill Lionizer for sure. Optimus gets Lionizer, he swings Lionizer into Wheeljack, kills Wheeljack. Then I get an opportunity to swing Prowl into Optimus. Um, so Reckless Charge into Optimus. So I'm swinging 10 and he's got two defense with the minus one. Um, so I do kill Optimus, but then I've Wheeljack has uh, four health left. Lionizer, yeah, with a reckless charge will absolutely get there. A good match to my opponent. So I lose uh, match one, and then uh, on the next time I share a video, it'll be match two. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.